Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be discussing the short-term charts. We're gonna be discussing the recent price movements from the last few days on Bitcoin and where it's likely to go next. But more specifically and more importantly, we're discussing the macro situation and we're trying to narrow down when we think Bitcoin is gonna make a decision. And by decision, I mean a price move to the upside or to the downside on a larger scale. Before we get into any of that, I wanna announce quickly, I've got a VIP sale for the VIP group chat on Telegram. We post trading signals in there five times a week. They've been extremely profitable. Uh, you can check out the results and also the details of the sale in the pinned comment and description below. There's also a few other links you can check out in the pinned comment description below, but that's the most important thing. VIP sale, that'd be last until the 1st of January there. Uh, it's a 30% discount on all VIP memberships. So check out that. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm gonna start with the macro and then I'll go into the shorter term in the later part of this video. Uh, we have two charts we need to look at on a macro scale, one of which we haven't really looked at before and one of which this one here we have looked at before. This is the eight year uptrending support line on Bitcoin. This thing is stemming from 2013, late 2013. In fact, I suppose then it's a nine year uptrending support line on Bitcoin stemming all the way back from December, 2013. And then cutting through uh, the relevant wicks uh, in, for example, 2014, uh, in 2017, 2018, and during the COVID drop in 2020 via candle closes, and then also cutting through the recent lows we had here in uh, November, late November, 2022. So this is the support line that we actually found our bottom on in November, 2022. This is the support line we found the 15.4K low, which obviously isn't a confirmed bottom at this point in time, but it is the current low. That's where we've bottomed out at this point in time on Bitcoin. So that support line is of major importance you don't generally see you know support line of nine years uh, and say it's not important it very much is and the fact that we did wick off of it means it is important indeed uh, we do have then uh, if we do break down below this support line we have identified two separate support zones so it's not a given that we break down below it uh, it is possible uh, if we do do it for example if we do use lose this yellow line we do lose the nine year uptrending support line we will go downwards further obviously and the next targets if we do do that in that hypothetical scenario would be 13.8k and also so 11.5k and you can see there i've drawn those in those horizontal red lines the lower one being 11.5 and the higher one being 13.8k and you can just look back here during the previous bear market and the previous bull market and see that those are in fact relevant horizontal support zones uh, and if we brought up the volume profile it would reflect that quite perfectly so those are the nearest support zones below the yellow line right we have the yellow line there we've got two support zones below it so how do we know when this line is going to be breaking or how do we know when we're going to bounce off of this line because right now we're just kind of ranging lurking just above it and we're still at risk of dropping below well we know based on the bull market support band okay the bull market support band on bitcoin is very important right the reason it's very important not only because it's important because it's a, a relevant resistance zone, it's also important because the bull market support band lines up pretty perfectly with this downtrending yellow line in the shorter term chart. We're on the daily chart for Bitcoin now. This downtrending yellow line stemming from June 2022 through to the wicks on August and through to the wicks in November. If we break that, we're essentially flipping this downwards trend and we can start to head upwards with upwards momentum again. So that bull market support band reflects where that yellow line is and it also reflects where the 200 day SMA is, which, this, which is this green line, uh, which we rejected from at a dead cat bounce uh, in March 2022. So just to clarify, the bull market support band here on the weekly chart reflects not only the bull market support band, but also reflects major resistance zone that if we were to get above, we would be seeing upwards momentum. So now what we have is the bull market support band, a major resistance, trending rapidly and descending rapidly towards their yellow uptrending support line, a major support zone. And so what we basically have here then is a compression. We have a compression and we have an apex based on that. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and take a look at when the bull market support band will be crossing below that nine year support line, right? Because that's when the price would move. The price right now, as you can see, is ranging between the bull market support band and the yellow support line. If these things cross, if the bull market support band crosses underneath the, uh, the nine year support line, the price will have to make a move either below the support line and hence downwards towards these lower targets at 13.8 and 11.5, or it will have to move above the bull market support band and hence confirming the low on that yellow support line. So when will that occur? When will that decision be taking place by? Well, we can go ahead and just take a rough estimate by drawing a straight line uh, from what the trajectory of the bull market support band currently is. And we can see that that breakout, either up or downwards on a macro scale, will be taking place before for the middle of February. The apex is on the 13th of February. So anytime between now 
and the 13th of February, Bitcoin will be forced to make a major move either downwards below the 90 support line or upwards above the bull market support band. That's very important. And that's, the, that's probably the most important thing you can watch on the Bitcoin chart right now. But that's not the only thing you can watch. Right, because that's one period of compression that narrows it down to early February. Right, narrows it down to mid February. It means we'll be making a move by mid February. But we can actually narrow it down even further than that. I want to briefly interrupt this video to talk about the BitGet Exchange. The BitGet Exchange has five times lower fees than Binance, which is the biggest major exchange in the cryptocurrency market on futures. It also has zero feeds on every single spot pair, so you can trade spot for entirely free, no fees included. It runs events. Right now, it's got a FIFA World Cup event sponsored by Messi, the football player. It's got copy trading, strategy trading. It's got exclusive rewards and discounts in the reward center. It's got everything you need for a trader using exchange. This is the exchange I personally use as a trader for my everyday trading, and I highly recommend it everyone does so at the Wolves of Crypto YouTube channel. Sign up using my referral link for exclusive rewards and discounts. That really helps out the channel and I appreciate it. For my fans from the United States of America, you can sign up using this exchange uh, with a VPN uh, and use the exchange with a VPN and just sign up using my referral link like normal and you'll be treated like a normal customer because this is also a non-KYC exchange. So make sure to sign up using my referral link in the pinned comment or the description below. And without further ado, let's get back into the video. And you might be thinking, well, how? How can we do that? We can do it using the weekly chart RSI, okay? Now, ignore the price action on the screen here. Just look at the RSI. In previous cycles, in previous bear markets, what we've seen over and over again, right, in three separate occasions now, is as we get towards the bottom, as we get towards the low in the, in the bear market, we see an RSI structure form. And when that RSI structure breaks to the upside, that marks a confirmation of the low. We saw it in 2014, it broke to the upside in 2015. We saw it in 2018, uh, it broke to the upside in 2019. And we're seeing it right now. Now, this RSI compression is tighter than the one we saw on this chart here that ends in mid-February. This RSI compression will be ending, okay? Will be ending actually in early January, before the 9th of January. So now what we can actually do is we can narrow it down even further. We've checked it out on this chart, just to clarify, we've checked it out on this weekly chart here. We've said, okay, there is a comp compressing structure. That compressing structure will be breaking the upside of a downside by mid-February. But the RSI on the weekly chart allows us to break it down even further. The compression structure on the RSI on the weekly chart means we will be breaking the RSI line to the upside or to the downside, which would probably constitute a break of the bull market support band to the upside or a break of the yellow line to the downside by the 9th of January. So now that we've narrowed it down further, we can ultimately make the conclusion that is as follows, right? We will be breaking the bull market support band to the upside or the nine year support line to the downside before the 9th of January, which of course is literally what, two and a half weeks away. So within the next two and a half weeks here on Bitcoin, we will be making a major, major macro decision. That macro decision, once again, will constitute whether or not we go down and test lows at 13.8K to 11.5K, or whether or not we break above the bull market support band, break above this yellow line, break above 200 day SMA, and make a new macro upwards trend. Just understand the importance of that. That is extremely important. Two and a half weeks, the 9th of January, before that point, we'll be making that major decision. Extremely important. Now that we've covered that, I'm going to talk about the rest of this chart in tomorrow's video. Uh, but now that we've covered that, we've covered the main part of the video, which is, which is extremely important. We need to get a little bit into the short term, very, very quickly, briefly, just analyze it here because people like short term updates. Uh, I will just say, if we do break that bull market support band to the upside, we will be buying Bitcoin. That's a buy signal for sure. Uh, but the short term essentially is this we have. And if you want to copy this down in your chart, you can make some trades based off this. That's fine. We've got the four hourly chart on Bitcoin. What we have is a downtrending yellow line stemming from the 2nd of uh, d December there through to the week here on the 7th of December through to the week on the 17th of December. And we held that su for support on the recent drop downwards on the candle close. We also have a support zone here at 16.2K, which is very important because that's the one we just bounced off of. We also have an uptrending yellow line. I wouldn't really call this any particular market pattern. This isn't really any kind of market pattern, but you can see essentially it's a variety of uptrending and downtrending lines that are forming resistance and support zones. Uh, and you can just draw those in there and copy it. But essentially the trade I would make based on this is quite simple. 
If we were to break this yellow line to the upside, I'd be taking a trade up to that red box at 17.7K. And if we were to break the 16.2K support zone to the downside, I'd be taking a trade down to the nearest support at 15.9K uh, with a stop loss above the yellow line. And in the up upside scenario, again, which we're taking a trade here up to 17.7K, your stop loss would be below this uptrending yellow line, right? So those are some in quick little trade ideas. Obviously, you need to analyze them as they happen. And they're very rough, of course. Um, but that's generally what you're looking for on this kind of structure here. As for directional move, it's kind of hard to say because this isn't really a market pattern. As you can see, this, is, this isn't really a particular market pattern. I guess you could say it's a it's a broadening uh, wedge formation, I suppose, but it's not really. Uh, so it looks kind of ugly at this point in time. And that's not to say it's bearish or bullish. It just looks ugly in the sense that it looks kind of neutral. It's kind of hard to say what's going to happen here because there's no direct market pattern that we're seeing at all. Um, I suppose... If you ask me yesterday, that was a bear flag formation. We did break it to the downside, but we found support. Now we're back above it. So there's no particular bullish or bearish bias on the shorter term here. It's just a variety of lines, and we can take trades based off of that when we see confirmation to the upside of a downside, as we discussed just then. But ultimately, I did want to bring up in this video the fact that on the weekly chart here, 13th of February, and on the RSI line here, on the RSI chart, we can actually narrow that down further to the 9th of January. 9th of January, before that point, very important two and a half weeks coming up here for Bitcoin, uh, and we'll have to analyze it as it comes. Uh, the volatility in the market has, has reached new lows, of course. We've seen very low volatility, and we've seen many people uh, go away from the market and, and do their own thing in this period of time. And this has been reflected by the amount of engagement on YouTube channels, on the cryptocurrency space, the amount of engagement on Twitter. Uh, if you use social metrics, uh, there's there's something called, I think it's called Lunar Crush, which you can use that, that measures kind of social metrics in the cryptocurrency market. They're reaching lows they haven't seen in, in basically two years here. So if you're still here, congratulations. You know, you're not going to miss out uh, to the people who've gone away. I do fear that they'll miss out on, on some of the stuff that's going to happen in the market. And I do fear that they're uh, wasting a lot of potential because every time people go away in bear markets like they saw in 2018, they always end up coming back in the bull market. And by that time, it's too late. So do yourself a favor. Don't go away. You don't have to check crypto every day. Just keep an eye on it. Keep it on every few days. Take, take a look at the charts. Watch a video. See what's going on. You know, just take an hour out of your day every three or four days at the very least. Uh, and, and, and just stay informed. Don't make the mistake that millions of people have made in previous cycles. I promise you it's not worth it and they always regret it. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Check out the VIP sale, of course, uh, in the description below. You can find the results. You can find the information. Uh, that's going to be, I don't do sales very often at all. I'm just doing it because it's a new year. 30% off. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next video.